Hey guys, okay, so in this lecture we're going to talk about the regulation of gene expression. Okay, so basically let's start out by defining a gene. As you guys are already familiar with the term gene, it is the unit of inheritance, that segment of DNA which is responsible for coding for a particular protein. The cluster of nucleotides in a DNA that is responsible for coding for one single enzyme or one single protein or one single polypeptide right so now which every cell of the human body contains a complete set of chromosomes uh, the 2n diploid number of chromosomes except for the gametes which contain n number of chromosomes okay each n represents the chromosome set number the chromosome set number for humans is 46 uh, so 2n represents a total number of 46 chromosomes and represents half 23 chromosomes. All right. So every cell of the human body contains a complete set of the human genome, a complete set of the human chromosomes, which is 46. But not all the genes are expressed in every cell of the body. For example, the beta pancreatic cells of the pancreas, they have the insulin gene activated the beta pancreatic cells the insulin is uh, produced in beta pancreatic cells insulin is a polypeptide as you guys already know so it's produced in the beta pancreatic cells why is that so because the insulin gene in the beta pancreatic cells is activated is capable of expressing the insulin but for example if you take the cheek cell or if you take a cell from any other part of the body it is not capable of producing the beta pancreatic cells because it is not expressed Right, so how is this gene expression regulated in different parts of the body, in different cells of the body, I should rather say. So let's get started with the gene, discussing about gene expression. Okay, gene expression regulation. Okay, so regulation of gene expression is to control whether a gene should be expressed or not in a particular cell. So now, gene expression. Gene expression is basically a multi-step process that results in the formation of a functional product. Okay, the functional product can be either an RNA. Well, uh, in our discussion, we are going to focus on the mRNA, the messenger RNA, which is produced by the gene. After the first step, basically, the first step after the transcription, the mRNA, which is produced. So in our lecture, we are going to discuss about the mRNA in the upcoming lectures as well. Right, and then in the, the second functional product of the gene is a protein. It can be a protein. Okay, this is actually can be the final product, I should rather say, of the pro, uh, of the gene, which is produced after translation of the mRNA produced initially. All right, so these are the two main products of gene expression. Now, moving forward, trans the very first step of gene expression is transcription, synthesis of RNA. Okay, uh, now, uh, usually mRNA that we are going to discuss. So transcription RNA synthesis, the first step of gene expression, and this is the primary stage of regulation of gene expression in both pro and eukaryotic cells. Okay, in both prokaryotes and eukaryotes, the transcription can be controlled to regulate gene expression. Okay, transcription can be inhibited or transcription can be activated in order to control gene expression. But in eukaryotes, as we already know, that eukaryotes are much more complex uh, cells as compared to prokaryotes. So they have extensive post-transcriptional and post-translational modifications of the polypeptide that is formed initially as a result of transcription. So post-transcriptional modification occurs of the RNA and post-translational modification occurs of the polypeptides which are formed. So therefore, expression in eukaryotes can also be controlled at these stages as well at uh, post-translational and post-transcriptional modification stages as well okay so in prokaryotes it's transcription that is mainly controlled to regulate gene expression whereas in eukaryotes it can be transcription and it can be other parts of those other stages as well okay after transcription now moving forward Okay, not all of the genes are tightly regulated. All right, I'll explain what that really means. Tightly regulated means that they are not actually uh, controlled by a specific, they are not completely switched off or switched on at a particular moment, but rather they continue to express, to express their protein at a roughly constant rate. 
such genes are called constitutive genes. Okay, guys, this is important. Okay, so constitutive genes are basically those genes which are almost always expressed, which are almost always active and are roughly expressing at roughly constant rate. So their expression is not controlled as tightly as the regulated genes. Now, moving forward, a few of the constitutive genes. Now, a special category of these constitutive genes, it continuously produces a few substances. It continuously produces a few substances which are essentially important for the basic functioning of the cell itself. So, such constitutive genes are called housekeeping genes. Right, another definition that I uh, gathered over here, that a few of the constitutive genes which are basically those genes that are continuously producing some base some uh, components which are essentially important for the basic functions of the cells such constitutive genes are called housekeeping genes so this is the definition of housekeeping genes so another term and uh, another definition that you guys should know now moving forward genes which are regulated okay we talked about constitutive genes we talked about a special category of constitutive genes called the housekeeping genes and now the third category of uh, genes known as regulated genes these are those genes which are only expressed under certain conditions okay and so for example a certain molecule must be present for the expression of these genes lac operon for example in the e coli is activated only when this molecule the lactose molecule is present okay we are going to talk about the lac operon in detail in the upcoming lectures i've even uh, given the i'll i'll give the link to that lecture in the description so do check that out as well but regulated genes are basically those genes which are expressed only under certain conditions if those conditions are not fulfilled they won't be expressed so that's why they are called regulated genes so their expression is tightly regulated by the presence or absence of certain substances then now a category of these regulated genes is inducible genes inducible genes are basically those genes which are activated basically induced in response to an inducer molecule okay so now a molecule if it's present it will induce the activation of these genes such genes are called inducible genes okay and we've talked about the lac operon over here this lac operon the lactose inducer for the lac operon this is again lac operon contains inducible genes because lactose can induce their expression in the lac operon we are going to discuss what lac operon really is this is actually a complete functional unit of dna that is responsible for the control of a set of genes in controlled by a single operator and a single promoter but we are going to discuss about that in detail so don't worry now what about another example is the tryptophan inducer tryptophan as you guys already know is an amino acid if it is present it will induce the production of uh, this enzyme the tryptophan pyrol pyrolase enzyme in the hepatocytes in the hepatocytes of the liver okay so in the hepatocyte gene of the liver there is a gene that goes for tryptophan pyrolose pyrolase enzyme and so it is it will only be expressed under the when tryptophan is present we are going to discuss about the tryptophan the trip operon as well uh, in detail in the upcoming lectures so it also just like the lac operon it ha, it involves tryptophan but there are slight differences in between the lac operon and trip operon we are going to discuss about that as well now moving forward the regulation of genes uh, are, is further divided into two types. Okay, basically the gene regulation, our entire lecture that based the topic on which our entire this entire lecture is based upon the regulation of genes over here. This regulation of genes is divided into two types. One is known as positive regulation and other is known as negative regulation right over here, positive and negative regulation. Okay, as the name suggests, positive regulation means that the expression of the genetic information or expression of that gene is basically quantitatively increased by the presence of a specific regulatory molecule such regulation is positive regulation and the regulator molecule is called positive regulator 
All right, so basically it's uh, the expression of the gene in positive regulation. If a gene is positively regulated, its expression will increase as a result of the inducer molecule, as a result of the regulator molecule. That positive regulator is called an inducer molecule as well. And I just told you about the lacoperon up here in the inducible genes. This inducer over here, the lactose inducer is also acting as a positive inducer okay as a positive regulator for the lac operon whereas negative regulation it is basically a type of regulation in which the expression of the gene is decreased okay it is quantitatively decreased by the presence of the regulatory molecule now in this case this regulatory molecule is called an a repressor molecule okay a negative regulator so it actually kind of inhibits the expression of a particular gene in case of the negative regulation but in case of positive regulation the regulator molecule it it actually promotes the expression it helps in the expression it activates the gene it promotes the expression of the particular gene in case of positive regulation and the regulator molecule is an inducer or a positive regulator whereas in case of a negative regulate in case of negative regulation the inducer molecule the repressor molecule or the regulator molecule is called a negative regulator or a repressor all right so that's pretty much it for this lecture i've made more lectures the link to which have been given in the description oh okay there is a chart over here that i took from your book lippincott for biochemistry okay so over here illustrated reviews of lippincott uh, okay this is a very nice chart uh, we've in this chart it has been compared that uh, the regulation of gene expression in pro and eukaryotes have been compared okay in prokaryotes as i told you earlier that the regulation is mainly controlled at the transcription level okay in eukaryotes as well the regulation is controlled at the transcription level but in eukaryotes since we know that they are more complex they are much advanced so in eukaryotes we also have some post transcriptional modifications of the mrna and post translational modifications of the protein so even at these stages in uk use this gene expression the product of the gene can be controlled so if these uh, post transcriptional modifications or post translational modifications in these cases are inhibited then again the protein will not be expressed the fun finally functional protein will not be formed or the finally functional mrna will not be formed in uk use as well okay so basically the takeaway point from here is that prokaryotes in prokaryotes the expression the gene regulation is done mainly at the transcription level only because they do not contain post transcriptional and post translational modifications but at in eukaryotes the control is at transcription level and also it can be at the post transcriptional and post translational modification levels as well at the post transcriptional and post translational processes as well Okay, so thank you so much, guys. And the next lecture, the link to the next lecture has been given in the description. We let me check out what we have next. Okay, in the next lecture, we are gonna talk about regulation of transcription. Okay, so basically, this transcription, we are gonna go in more detail about how this tra transcription can be regulated in the next lecture. So thank you so much. The link to that has been given in the description. Please check that out.